uh, some findings and and the voltage measurements of uh, the little radiant Tesla radiant circuit. Pretty well known, I think, on the internet. A lot of people experimented with them and stuff. But I don't see a whole lot of videos. Maybe uh, I think I've only seen two. One from Inventor Three, and then some other random dude. It was just a it was just a slideshow. But uh, this is it's been sitting for a little bit. So it it has 10 volts currently. Now it, it has a steady voltage of like a 1.2 1, 1 to 2 volts depending on the activity. But uh, you know, it doesn't hold a lot of current, obviously, very little. We're talking about uh, you know microamps. And that's something I can experiment with. Actually, I'll, I'll do that right now. Might as well. I haven't tried it. Be right back. So there's a doubt this is going to light up the LED for even a fraction of a second, but maybe we can get a brief reading. See, if I had a scope, it'd be much easier to catch the, the current draw, but uh, we'll go 20 microamps, even though I know it's far beyond what it is. Maybe I should switch to 2 microamps. Well, this might take a couple more testings. We might not. This video might not get posted. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. The light's off. Hopefully you can still see that. Um, here we go. There we go. Flash for a second. So, uh, yeah, that was actually more surprising than I thought it would be. That I think it was probably hovering around 11, 12 volts. So, I figured it'd flash for a second, but... Yeah, now I can review that and see uh, how much amp draw for that brief second it gives. And of course it takes forever to charge back up, so let's see if it was cascading, it'd be decent. So anyways, that is, um, what did that read? I couldn't even tell, I think it was 18 microamps. So, pretty interesting. Cascade, the idea is cascading it is that well so it's electric well let me give you a little I'll show you what it is in case my setup is different than anybody else's which it might not be but this is according to a Tesla patent right you have your radiant energy it's almost like a bridge rectifier only it's a circulating circuit a circulating circuit it's kind of redundant but uh, <laughs> Uh, I can post the uh, schematic if you want. It's pretty self-explanatory there if you see it. And it's, uh, it's got an antenna and a ground, obviously. And for the antenna, ignore that one. Uh, it's just this piece of a uh, aluminum foil, tin foil as we call it in the states, even though there's no tin in it. But uh, aluminium across the pond. And then it's I leaf I made it like a leaf structure. I just took some stranded wire and separated it all apart and cut it along the edges and then insulated it as best as I could and um, the higher it goes the better it'd probably be too but it's a very small piece of aluminum uh, and then of course the ground goes out here and it's dark outside right now most of my videos happen at nighttime because I do the day job gig um, and uh, there's an 18 inch copper grounding rod uh, right outside there um, and the idea is that it picks up electrostatic energy or radiant energies uh, and takes it and circulates it as this is kind of like a circulatory, almost like an elect electron pump or ion pump in a way because really it's a type of uh, ionic electricity. It's taking it from the atmosphere, right? So alternating currents and kind of and turning them into DC with these electrolytic capacitors um, and in, you know in the future the, my kind of idea of that or I shouldn't say my idea somebody else has come up with it Moray's probably experimented with this there's all types of people who have done experiments that who even knows you know. but uh, the, the idea is to take like crystal cell capacitors type of deal and um, that way it has a little more resonance with the earth and it takes in even more radiance, but then the trick would be to get the crystal cell capacitors to have a, a high voltage um, and then run them in parallel 
as my as the cascading circuit more in parallel than in uh, than in series because the voltage is already pretty decent. Uh, and uh, and then you know maybe then run a nice oscillating circuit off of it or a tra transformer or a special specialty transformer. And uh, also what I've noticed is this guy that I've been that I kind of messed with a little bit. I did uh, one little test on it and it. it you hook it up to a battery and you put the two coils, there's actually two coils there um, opposing each other and you put them in series and it slowly collects energy. You can, it's a self, you can self charge a battery. Um, and I'll get some video on it. I'm using the, the leads right now for these super capacitors and it looks really ugly but I haven't set up a, a proper mount for these yet or anything. Um, and I'm charging it with the ugly. but. Uh, this this actually builds up electricity uh, probably from radiance both of these both of these type of ideas the electrostatic and the uh, magnetic resonant the EMF kind of collection I guess is what that would kind of be considered that's kind of the idea I was thinking of um, both of them probably wouldn't work very well in a Faraday cage but you know it's a good thing the Earth's not in a Faraday cage because then we'd be screwed. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe not. Actually, maybe we'd be protected. Maybe we are in a Faraday. Oh, okay, now I'm just going off on a tangent. Anyways, uh, show the voltage again here. And then I'll uh, post another video um, a day from now and uh, show you how, how much voltage it gets in just 24 hour span. I don't know why I unplugged that because that will help me with one hand. I'm going to go like this. Turn on the light. Bear with me. All right. Okay. So that is on the positive. So negative. Oh, it's still on. There. No wonder. Just the time I've been talking up to three volts, but it will drop down. The meter acts as a load, a uh, very weak load, right? And it will drop down. I think it drops down 1.2 to 2 volts, somewhere in that range. I might have already said that at the beginning of this video, but anyways, I'll be back in 24 hours hours later all right so it's the next day I'll show you the results here keep in mind that this is just a piece of tin foil and so we call it over here in the states tin foil even though it's not tin <laughs> it's a piece of aluminum foil or aluminium and um, and uh, ground 18 inch ground Sixty nine volts, seventy volts. If I have that backwards, huh? Yes, I do. But it doesn't matter. So you still get, the, you still catch, catch the drift. Sorry if I sound exhausted. It's been a long day. So, there you go. Yep. And of course, it drops pretty quick because it doesn't have a whole lot of current running through it. <clears throat> it stabilizes out about you know 1.2 volts, about the same as a crystal cell battery, actually. It just has more capacitance to hold and very little impedance. Um, so the idea is to cascade circuit that. I mean, that's what I would like to do and set that up. And then here, I'll show you something else. It's kind of nifty. It's kind of cool. Yeah? <laughs> the people on the internet on the interweb. My wife thinks I'm crazy. Where? This little camera right here that's set up oh, on a tripod. God, you scared me. Hey, you want to be on camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's late, so you can think. You can, you can use your imagination to think why she wouldn't want to be on camera. All right, so here's the, th the cool nifty thing I was going to show you. Ready for this? Let's see if get a good shot for it. Oh, oh. Woo! 
I don't know if you saw that. Let's see if we looks like it was in camera. I don't know if you saw that to play back and see it. L upload this. But uh, I'm sure many of you are aware of this. Um, but I think that a synergy of ideas, you know, kind of using multiple ideas would be, um, you know, could yield some some gains, you know, as far as as far as this type of idea comes, you know. And there's debate on whether it's.